بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس فیچرز ڈسکشن ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کور اوریکل فارمس ورسز اوریکل ایپیکس ایٹ ویری ہائی لیول ڈسکشن ٹو جسٹ کمپیئر ٹو ڈیولپمنٹ ٹولس بائی اوریکل because uh, sometimes oracle forms developers they feel uh, difficulty or hesitation that uh, while migrating or moving towards apex will be very tough you know and there will be challenges so let's have some sort of comparison how in forms something was there and how it will be in oracle apex a very short discussion uh, let's proceed so if you see on the left side of my screen is uh, oracle forms builder let me show you the version as well so you will have comfort level it's a 10g version almost they're all versions are same it's a client and then on the right side we have oracle apex which is the current or latest version 22.2.2 right so there are two patches applied it's an online cloud based oracle apex version which is free to use with certain space limitations but uh, all features are there okay now if you see on the left side we have a uh, navigation on the left where you can have form and then there are triggers etc on the right side if you see this is apex so same again navigation then down you have different objects Uh, when you will click any uh, object on the left side it will show you its relevant properties so same way when you click here it shows you the properties if you see on the right side and the middle it will show you the layout the same way here it is so this will be on the top or right side you can keep and you will have your canvas uh, displayed here okay now up to this if you see it's i mean almost similar right now here the form called as a module right here it is called a page right it is a page so this is a home page here it is a module 1 you can call it um, let's say uh invoice or invoices or something like that whatever you going to develop or design using this Uh, module okay <clears throat> now under the module you have pre rendering pre rendering means uh, something like here you have triggers so triggers are replaced with these pre rendering if i will go inside the pre rendering so you have uh, different events before header after header before regions okay so when you want to execute or fire these triggers i would say these are called triggers in if you are coming from the forms so but in oracle apex see these are processes or branches or computations you can do at this level so if i click create a process end of the day it is pl sql right same way if i click here uh, if you see i have to select right so i am saying uh, let's say pre uh, let me say pre delete or pre block or um, when new let me say no when new form instance something like this again in this trigger you have a pl sql right so the triggers are now replaced or renamed with the processes uh, but again it's a pl sql so if you have knowledge of pl sql in the forms uh, i mean you are a developer of oracle here again it is same right so if i will click here the help in the same uh, screen i have this pl sql right so this pl sql here versus here almost same the only thing you might have different difference is the naming 
right of the uh, items otherwise pl sql syntax or everything that is same logic will remain same if you are inserting to a table you are inserting to a table right so there is no difference in the pl sql okay now <coughs> sorry in forms you were designing canvas right let me sorry uh, so canvas right let me have some canvas okay this is the canvas and on this canvas you were creating items by creating a block and block is uh, connected to a table right because uh, it can be control block as well where you don't need to link it to the table but ideally it is to link to the table to insert something right and you have the wizards as well even in the forms you had wizard you have wizards in apex as well in apex now we are coming towards components if you see here this is a body right so this is post rendering right so rendering is when it is generating the layout like creating a canvas right so if you see here in the components we have a body so we have we can create buttons here we can create this is now items and this is of type switch and again this is a variable and it's a text type so here you have the properties and you can assign different properties to your items right now we had blocks here now let's see here you have right click and you have region okay now this region when you create a region you have static content means static means it is not linked to any table right uh, if you want to create a form you will select a form and different uh, types of regions you can create report classic report interactive there are different types of tabular reports means column column rows right so this is how you can have different types of regions so re block change to region okay and then there are different types of region inside this okay then we have let's say for example lov here you were creating lov and lov were having record groups right where you had the sql in apex let's say for example if i have this item so i will be uh, changing the property see text field with auto complete or something like that so i will select it as a select list so if i will click select list same place down i will have list of values so there are different types of list of values shared components sql query static function body so if i will click static i can define here the static here it is a display value whatever whatever will be displayed and here it is returned at a very higher level and sql then you can create sql here so here are the sample the first will be the display and the second one will return okay now if you see here then you have different i think with, which are relevant let me show you visual attributes leave that alerts here you can also have certain messages and all those things attached libraries so all these uh, i i believe uh, attached libraries and things like that these are now if you see here plugins so these are different plugins you have you can have plugins and you can go to if you go above these three uh, shapes if you click here uh, let me leave it without saving it uh, then you get this sort of uh, shared components right where you can create list of values here over here if you will create here you can use these list of values in all the pages of your application but if you are creating on the page then it is only for that page right which i was showing you in a while ago so this is our shared components area here there are different type of items you can create here there are menus 
you can define over here navigations there are different now whatever is created here in the shared components you can use across your current application right this is my application for example okay so these are the plugins which you can share which uh, with other application just export import and see there are files and reports then you have uh, tasks for workflows and automations then you have restful services for web services uh, ORDS and navigation bar list things like that right so you know overall if someone has worked on oracle forms uh, now there can be two activities or tasks for him one is to migrate an application developed in oracle forms and reports yes reports i haven't shown on the right side but there are different ways to develop uh, reports it depends uh, so from here you can migrate like this the way i explained because you will have of course you need to do something um, maybe some logic might change or you know things like that uh, now if you see here here you had this canvas you can add canvas then you can have blocks here in blocks you can add items build new data block manually right so if i see items i will just click item so this is the item if i will uh, double click it is showing me the properties the same way if i just go here on the on this page this is home page so whenever i will log in it will show this so here i will right click create region see this is the region right click page item right same way right click button so this is my let's say for example save button or submit button whatever you call it right and this is the label this is its name and there are different properties okay down okay now after after form sorry after blog there are triggers over here as well right pre and uh, post triggers if i will see here when new blog pre blog post blog so if i go in oracle apex i will have this processing i will click this third tab over here and if you see here this is my processing so whenever i will submit this page these objects will fire or execute so here again processing let's say for example i want to insert something in some table or apply some uh, logic or whatever so i'm saying logic so again here again it's a pl sql it was pl sql here it is pl sql here so this is how you can migrate or this is uh, branches so branches means once submitted so after doing all this where it should go it should open any other page or it should go to the home page or it should go through some report or something like that so here you can move or redirect your apex page execution so here you will give the page where you want to go right i don't want to complex anything but uh, i think it will give you a fair idea that uh, okay now the question is why to move from forms to uh, oracle apex very simple question i mean uh, companies are there they are using it for a long time why in my uh, own personal opinion the way i i will think uh, one is the cost factor another is oracle trend where they want to move and uh, industry practices i will say standard or best practices where uh, industry or market is moving toward because then end of the day you will need uh, developers or resources to support your application so if in the market they are not available from where you will hire this is one factor uh, look and feel uh oracle apex is uh, 
I will say much much better. Now there is another question that okay for big or uh, large applications Oracle Apex is not good enough. This is totally wrong. Oracle Apex is good enough for any type of application. Even now, Oracle own forums or uh, the, the 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 website they are Oracle Apex based or they are migrating to Oracle Apex. If that level of users they can manage, so I don't think there a, there will be any challenge. Uh, another thing is cost factor. Oracle developer need a user license, right? Per user, per developer. So this type, I mean, Oracle developer, it's a, uh, forms and reports. You need license, and Oracle Apex it is uh, available with your. Oracle standard or enterprise database. Even you can use with uh, Express Edition. It is up to you. But Express Edition will have certain limitations. Of course, you will not go with that. But for demos or practices, you can go with that. Uh, even Oracle Apex is available free apex.oracle.com or you can have autonomous database where you will get the uh, Apex as well. Uh, Pre-configured, everything will be there managed uh, by Oracle and within few minutes you can have ready instance. I have another videos I will share the link you can go with that to know how you can create Oracle Apex instance and there are free version available there as well which you, which are always free by Oracle for learning and practice purpose right. This also you can use apex.oracle.com free uh, it will provide you the um, workspace. You can practice, you can learn, you can create your dashboards. Uh, another thing, yes, dashboards. In forms, you can't create dashboards. But in Oracle Apex, fantastic dashboards you can create, right? So this is how uh, you can have comparisons. So see here that you have the menus, PLC code libraries, object libraries, things like that, which I showed you as a shared. So moving from as a developer from forms to reports is as easy as one, two, three. If you know Oracle forms, you are good in Oracle Apex. If you know PLC code SQL, you are very easy and comfortable with Oracle Apex. So one was the licensing cost factor, which I shared. Uh, resources availability uh, many applications are still using oracle 6i forms which is totally obsolete out no support by oracle so it is unsupported i think big organization can't afford without support any application so this you have to consider uh, i think there is no direct migration from oracle forms to apex yeah, there are certain, but they will give you some sort of XML and then you can, you know, but still you need manual uh, intervention over here to uh, finalize the application or pages of your application, right? Uh, please share your feedback if it was of any help or if there is any further question, feel free to ask. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.